I'm 69 years old. I'm an old age pensioner. I don't want to be up on this bloody cold roof. I don't enjoy climbing dodgy rickety ladders up two stories and sleeping out in the freezing cold up here. And I don't, believe it or not, I don't enjoy smashing things up. It's not how I operate, how I've worked all my life. Elbit is Israel's largest private arms company and they manufacture 85% of Israel's drone fleet, which are used against Palestinian civilians. The UK government is committed in all crimes that are being enabled by the weaponry that is made in factories just like me. I've written to my uh, member of parliament, I've gone on marches, um, I've uh, signed petitions, and nothing seems to work. I think direct action is the only way to disrupt this uh, kill line, and we're demanding that the government ends its complicity with apartheid Israel and with the murderous Elbit system. Your profits are covered in Palestinian blood. Your profits are covered in Palestinian blood. Elbit market their weapons as battle tested. That is, battle tested on the innocent people besieged in Gaza. Recently, Elbit sold a so-called suicide uh, drone to the Azeri government and these weapons are being used against Armenian civilians in Artsakh. They sell arms to the Indian government who use them against civilians in occupied Kashmir. We have to take a stand against this because if we just look the other way, the bloodshed and the oppression will continue. And that's not something that sits well on my conscience. So that's why I'm, I'm here smashing a few windows. It's nothing in comparison to what Palestinians are going through when those drones are flying overhead at night, when their houses are being bombed, when their family members are being murdered. I guess they're not getting us down that easy. I guess not, not today. <laughs>